Hello everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to create your own custom members area. And if you ask why do I need to create my own custom uh, members area without having to use the Wix app, is because with the Wix app, it's gonna be limited. You're not gonna be able to do a lot of things there. So creating everything yourself is gonna help you uh, pretty much create uh, anything you want so uh, you can add more fields uh, you can you know uh, make it as you know nice as you wish uh, compared to the one that we currently have uh, it's very I wouldn't say boring but I feel like the style is not there so with this one you can customize it as much as you want uh, again in this video because I want to show you the functionality we're not gonna talk too much about the design part, but at least you're gonna see how you can do it yourself. And then just take this video and use it for you to create your own. Uh, so let's get into it. Okay, so because we're starting from scratch, what you wanna do is once you're on Wix, uh, and then you can pretty much select any type of website that you wanna create, okay? Uh, personally, I like to use the classic editor uh, a lot of people are using the editor X and I like it too, but there's some things that are still not available on there. So I'll make sure to find out if everything I want is on the editor X. If not, I will stick to classic for now. Uh, definitely, I wouldn't recommend ADI just because it limits you uh, on the design and you can do much customizations. So here we're gonna click on edit a template, but even though <clears throat> we add that option we want to go to blank templates and we're gonna edit one just from scratch this is again gonna allow you to start from a white canvas and then you can design from there mm -hmm. okay so it's loading as you can see um, I don't do much edits to my videos I try to keep it as real as possible right I don't try to cut things uh, so just try to skip if it's going too slow uh, <clears throat> okay so the first thing I will do is I'll I want to make a decision where I want to have my login button right and based on that that's how you're gonna start designing everything usually you want to put it on the header uh, that way it can be shown on all the pages that you have in your website now before we continue into actually designing this uh, I want to make sure you know this and this is very important uh, anytime you create anything like a members page or something that had to do with restrictions on a page if somebody that does is not allowed to be in that page because then they needed a password and a login they're gonna get an error so also with this uh, code that I'm gonna give you today uh, you're gonna be able to uh, redirect anyone after they log out to a specific page okay so that's very key and that little piece of code you can use it for other things as well so you are not necessarily need to use it just for building a members area but if you ever want to redirect somebody using code this is what you're gonna use okay so the first thing I would do is uh, we're gonna turn on the developer mode and what is this gonna do is on the left side you're gonna see we're missing an option called uh, the uh, databases or content manager right so in order for us to be able to see this tool we're gonna turn this on okay <clears throat> so when this uh, gets on we can minimize this we're not going to use it for now and we can minimize this we're going to click on content manager and this is already there by default so we didn't add this and this was already there so all we got to do is create a new collection <clears throat> and then from here we're going to cre uh, create a new collection we're going to name it members And then we're gonna go here where it says site content and then we're gonna go to custom use 
and what I'm doing right now I'm showing you also how you can create your own database if this is your first time doing something like this uh, this is a really good uh, way to learn then you're gonna click where it says, says uh, set custom uh, permissions and then right here we want to make sure because this is a members area and we want to make sure every member has their own profile right uh, we're going to use one single database uh, but we can have as many as a thousand members if we want to and each of them can have their own members page so this is what you want to do want to select sign member and then so anybody that created their account they're the ones that can see their information then the permissions right we want the permissions to be to the sign member and then here we also want to assign the permissions to the sign member author and then lastly who can delete anything here we want it to be only us the admin or the people that own the website because you also don't want members to be able to go and delete things uh, so this is only for like the website and then we're going to click on set and create collections <clears throat> So once we do that, we're gonna see there's this new panel that's gonna show up. And you have one option already here. This is by default. And when you click on it, you're gonna see properties. You're gonna see that the field type is text. What this means is uh, you're gonna be able to only add text to this specific thing. If you add anything like a link or a URL or an image, it's not gonna work. So anytime we add something, we gotta make sure it works. So the first, uh, the first one that we're gonna add is gonna be full name. Now you have the option to do first name and last name. Uh, me personally, I just like to save time and space. So I just name it as full name because a lot of people know that it's their first and last name. But if you wanna be more uh, direct and you wanna make sure you get that information, then I would recommend doing first name and last name. Second, because it's text, we're gonna I'd leave it as there, as a field type, and then we're gonna click save. The next thing is we need an email. <clears throat> and then on email, we're also gonna leave it as a text because we want pe uh, people to type uh, the dot and then come. So we wanna make sure that when they type their email, uh, it doesn't give them any problems. So that's why we're gonna leave it as text. Next, we're gonna add the field for phone number. <clears throat> and we're also gonna leave it as text in case they wanna use a parenthesis or a dash, and then they can type their numbers. You can also use just the field um, number right here if you only want numbers you don't want any it, you don't want them to be able to put any dash or parentheses or anything you only want numbers on this specific field you can select number in this case again because we want to make sure they can put spaces and things like that uh, or dashes sorry then we're gonna keep it as text next one we're gonna add about which they can type anything about their profile. And here we're also gonna leave it as a text. If we want them to be able to do something like resize the text, customize it, then we can type uh, rich uh, content, actually rich text, sorry. And they're gonna be able to edit everything. But for now, because we don't want them to be changing much, we're just gonna leave it as a text. And then the last thing we need is a profile picture. <clears throat> and we're gonna make sure on the field type we select image and then we click save and you know to be honest because I want to do a little bit of a different design for them I'm gonna add one more field and I'm gonna put uh, something like background one and then we're gonna put image and save so <clears throat> now we have everything we need okay and again you can add as many fields as you want the members area to have so if you want to add 
um, I don't know something like a button things like that or add a URL or whatever you want to add you can add as many things uh, so for uh, the title we're gonna leave it just empty uh, I'm not even gonna use it then we have the full name email phone number about so they can put the description their profile picture and the background picture and that's it this is for the um, database or the content manager so we're just gonna close this now we're gonna move to the next step okay so now what we need to create is a profile page uh, profile page but it has to be a dynamic page so how do you do that there's two ways to do it you gotta go to content manager and then you have the database that you just created and click on the little three dots and then you can add a blank dynamic page this is the way that we want to do it because we don't want it to add uh, a design that we don't want if you add one of these ones this is the second option this will give you a specific uh, structure that is already automated so you don't want to select this one so this is the one that you want to select uh, another option on how you can add a dynamic page is going here on menus and pages under dynamic pages and then you can add one here now if you do it this way it's also going to create a database for you so I just want to uh, say that just so you know that there's other ways um, but this is the one that we need to use members the little three dots and then add a blank dynamic page so this page is gonna be our profile page, uh, page. and this is what I was talking about before is uh, we can design it as we like so this thing I'm just gonna move it down here uh, now just keep in mind that this little um, data set this is what it's called uh, the data set uh, it's not going to show on the live page, so you can just leave it anywhere. So we're going to add a strip. And um, just going to add um, another uh, column. And this is where we're going to add an image. We're going to say image. And we're going to... And this is the way I'm doing it myself. But again, you can design it as you like. So we're gonna select that one. And then right here, we need to add text. And then we're gonna use, uh, where'd it go? Okay, so we're gonna use this one. And this is gonna be name my profile. Again, you can name it whatever you like. And then we need to add the fields that we need. So the first one was a full, uh, full name. Then we need an email. We need a phone number. And then we need a bio. Now, this is one way to do it. But if you want to have a more responsive way you can also add a uh, repeater because a repeater will expand if let's say the person adds a big profile it will make sure that it aligns by itself better but if you just add it with text it might be all messed up whenever they add a lot of content so to keep it all organized you can add it uh, a certain way um, with a repeater so this is one way uh, we can connect we can connect it and we're gonna do it this way so this is gonna be a full name and then we're gonna edit this this is gonna be the email uh, then this one is gonna be phone number this one is gonna be the bio and we can change the size to smaller that way it's going to be specifically um you know not specifically but it's going to be um smaller so it's going to look a little more elegant again you can design it as you wish 
<clears throat> and I'm sorry if sometimes I repeat myself um, but lately I've been working a lot so um, I'm kind of like I wouldn't say exhausted but I'm like trying to make the best out of you know the night so but we're gonna keep you know this going and we're gonna be excited about it so awesome okay so now you have your full name your email your phone number your bio we're missing one more thing which is gonna be an image uh, so we can add an image for the, our profile so here we can just select anything so let's name it profile picture and we're gonna select this guy right here let's see this guy looks good <laughs> all right and you can of course this is just a placeholder we're gonna go here where it says crop and then we're gonna make sure we select this option right here and then we can make it a circle uh, so once we do that we can click apply and then we can make it smaller okay so again now we can adjust our content and it can be placed anywhere so it can be like that you can also center it uh, again you can do the design as you wish um, because i want to have a repeater we're going to go here and then we're going to add this option right here and then we're going to go where it says manage items because we only need one and then this one we're gonna delete what's inside and then we're gonna align it then this one is to be aligned as you can see there's a box inside and then there's the other um, box outside with the outline so just keep that in mind gonna add the profile in here okay and then we're gonna make this a little smaller and now we're gonna make it in the center um, okay and then we're gonna add the full name the email and sometimes if you have a lot of lines one thing you can do is you can do control uh, if it's a PC uh, and then select two at the same time and then you can align it uh, that way you can move a lot of content faster uh, and then we can center this here uh, but again um, it's uh, how you feel comfortable I'm gonna make this white perfect so that's gonna be our profile okay um, and again you can add as much content on this page as you like for now we're just gonna leave it like that because I don't want to make this video too long so we have um, all the things that we need we have our data set and then uh, the, the next thing we need to do is we need to add a button and this button right now we're not we're pretty much we're not connecting anything yet uh, but we want to add it here and this button we're going to name it uh, update so let's say if we want people to update their own information and then one last thing we can do here is we can make this a little smaller right here then we're gonna add this one right here and then this one right here okay and let's align this I know I said we're not gonna go into design but I just want to make sure it looks good too okay so then we're gonna copy one more thing here and we're gonna paste this and then we can just put it in front of this and then copy paste and then this is gonna be right here one more and then last and for this one I think we're gonna push a little bit higher right there and then this one we can make a little bigger and then this one right here 
can make it like that. Uh, so this one is just pretty much a placeholder. So this is what we're gonna connect with our data set. That way any, t any content that we add to the page is just gonna automatically add it here. So don't worry about what's on the, what's on the, what do you call it? On these little lines, because once we connect it, uh, everything is gonna work. Then the second thing we need to create is an update page. Now you can do it uh, different ways. You, if you don't want to have two different pages uh, and you want everything to be here, you can also create a light box. And that way, when you click update, it can open a light box and then they can update the information. But in this case, we're going to do a page for that. So we're going to go back to the content manager. We're going to go here on members and we're going to click uh, add a blank pay, uh, dynamic page and this one we're gonna name it update now um, as you can see we have a full name and if sometimes it can happen you know that you can forget things uh, so you need a full name email phone number bio background picture and profile picture so the second thing we're gonna do now is add here on input and then we're gonna add this one right here. And this one, just to give you a heads up, is you don't have to worry too much about the design on this one if you don't want to, just because this one is just to update content. So it doesn't have to be too fancy because they're only gonna see it anytime they update their information. So it's not gonna be uh, visible to everybody, only to the member when they're updating their information. So we're gonna copy and paste this and then we're gonna do one more time here. So this one, we're gonna name it full name. And then here, you're gonna get this little error, but don't worry, this is pretty much to write the title at the top, if that's what you prefer. So you can do something like this. If you want, you can have it at the top or you can have it inside this. I feel like having it just at the inside the box saves you a lot of space. So that's why I just like to keep it like that. Then the second one is gonna be email. So this is gonna be email. Email, okay. And then the, last, the third one is gonna be phone number. And then we need one more here on input and we're gonna select a text box uh, and the text box is gonna be for uh, the bio so we're gonna go settings and then here we're gonna put we, you can name it about or you can name it bio it's up to you uh, let's leave it with about or and then you need two boxes for the not boxes but two buttons to upload the pictures so plot buttons we're gonna select this one and here and to actually make it even not confusing what we can do is we can put this one right here at the top and this one we're gonna click settings and we're gonna name it profile picture and then we're gonna add one more and this one we're gonna select a different color and then this one we're gonna they work the same it's just a different design okay this one we're gonna change it to um, background image okay so we're gonna align everything and then lastly we need a button to make sure it takes us back to the profile. Actually to the update, the submit, sorry. That was my bad. So it's a button to submit the content. So that's it. So now we're gonna go back to menus and pages and we're gonna do something very important, okay? So now you can see it says members title, members title. 
we need to rename them. So the first one that we're gonna do is this one. So we know that this is the profile. So we're gonna go to rename and we're gonna type, uh, you can say my profile if you like. And then we're gonna click done. Now on this, this is gonna be very important because this one right here, because you're gonna have multiple members, you want each member whenever they log in to see exactly what they submitted, right? So we're gonna go where it says settings. And then right here, you see it says title. This needs to be changed. And then we're gonna change it to, we're gonna delete that part and then we're gonna add a field. So we're gonna change it to ID. Perfect. So now this is what it needs to look like. Then the next one, we're gonna go here. And this one, we're gonna rename it. And this is gonna be name update. For some reason, this one didn't change. So we're gonna rename it. Uh, so let's rename this. This should say my profile. And then done. Like that. So it should say my profile. Make sure that when you click on settings, it says members, you're gonna delete title there and rename it ID uh, when you are in the field. The second one you're gonna do is the update page. So we're gonna go to settings, page info. And as you can see now it says members dash one title. We wanna change all of this. So we're gonna click, I mean, we're gonna delete this. We're gonna do forward slash, we're gonna click type update, sorry. And then we're gonna add one more forward slash and then we're gonna add ID at the front. So this is what it needs to look like. Members update and then ID. Now the code is gonna be very important to match this. So as you can see, this is all lowercase. So on the code, you have to have, um, make sure that you don't type a capital in case you delete something and you add it. So as you can see, members is lowercase. So again, you have the update, members update forward slash ID, and then my profile has to be members forward slash ID. So that's it. Now we can go and connect everything. So we're gonna go here, and now we're gonna make sure, this one we're gonna click on the data set and then under settings, we gotta make sure this one is read only because we're only displaying information. So once we do that, now we can connect the first one. So the first one is gonna be the image. And here we're gonna select members item. And this one is gonna be profile picture. And that's it, you can just close it. The next one is gonna be full name. So make sure that's there. And then full name here. We're gonna go to the little snake. We're gonna connect email. This one is gonna be phone number. And then lastly is gonna be the bio. So to not make it, you know, um, a problem, we're gonna actually select how far we want the box to go. So once we set it to where we want it to go, everything is just gonna push down. So once we click connect, we're gonna select bio. And then here okay, is about um, because that's what we name it but a bio or about um, I think it's the same but you can uh, you can name this bio or about but we're connecting it to that one okay now we're gonna close this and now we're gonna connect the button so the button once you go here you're gonna make sure the click action connects to we want it to connect to update ID okay so that's it now we're gonna go back to the members and pages and we're gonna go to the members page uh, update. Now here, we're gonna move our data set anywhere we want where it's more easy to, it's easier to access. We're gonna click settings. We're gonna make sure this one says read and write and then we're just gonna close it. So the first button is gonna be connected to the profile picture. So profile picture or image. The, the second one is gonna be full name. 
this one is going to be email, phone number, and then this one is going to be a background image. So this is going to be background and then the bio. And then on the bio, it's going to be about. And then now here, something we could do is we can click on the settings and you can do certain things. For example, because we don't want it to mess up our whole page, we can set a limit. And then here you can say number of uh, characters. We can say we only want, um, I don't know, 30, uh, or we can even say 40. So that's the max that they can write. And I feel like that's a, that's a lot. Uh, like TikTok, I think it only allows you 30. And so let's actually give a little bit more. Uh, so we're gonna do like 50 and that's it uh, then you don't want them to be like getting all you know into the zone of writing about themselves so next one is gonna be the button you're gonna connect to this little snake right here and this one is gonna be submit once you do that make sure you click on add success message and add a failure message as you can see they're added right here Sometimes when you click add a success message and add a failure message, you might not see it. For some reason, it goes on the back of the page. I don't know why, but if that ever happens to you and you don't see it, what I would do is I will publish, then preview, um, and then then when you uh, go back to the editor, they're gonna show. So that's how I usually find them. Uh, the other way to find something that you lost, is you can go to tools and you wanna go to layers and then you can find them uh, so that way you can set, see where it is and it points at you where where they are then we're gonna put it right here and i like to add in this because it definitely makes uh, if there's an error you can tell uh the system will tell you hey something is wrong and if it's uh, good it will just give you the success message so there it is. This one show once is uh, the page is active. It only shows once everything is working. So once we do that part, we're gonna publish. Um, again, a lot of the things when you're working on uh, databases, sometimes on preview doesn't work, so you have to publish the page. So just keep that in mind. Also, when you're doing members area, you can. Uh, um, see the changes on your editor or your preview because you're already a member so it doesn't allow you to log in or log out so you have to test it uh, either on private mode or uh, open a new tab okay so now pretty much we're almost done here the next thing we need is just the uh, login page and or login button so again, earlier I mentioned you gotta decide where you wanna add your login button. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a section right here under the menu. So I'm not gonna even put it on the menu. I'm gonna add a section right here. So how we do that is we're gonna add a strip. I'm gonna put it at the top. And then right now uh, we are on the update page but because we're gonna make sure this shows on all the pages, it doesn't matter if we're on the update page, it's still gonna show, okay? So let's add that right there. Let's make sure this one is here. Okay, so this one is gonna be well, selected with a specific color. Let me go color here and we're gonna put a nice color. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's see. I know. If I have a feeling that that's not the color I want. You know what? Let's just leave it kind of like gray. Okay, like that and now we're gonna add two buttons uh, so we're gonna go on button and we're gonna add it right here to the strip and this one we're gonna name it log 
out and you'll see why right now so this is log out and then we're gonna add another one and this is gonna be named uh, my profile okay so we're gonna make them a little smaller so they're not too bulky and then there it is we're gonna put them close together so now we have that we have my profile uh, and then this banner because we want it to show on all the pages we're gonna do a right click and then do show on all pages so now this is gonna show on all the pages that we want again you could add these buttons at the header if that's what you prefer you can do whatever you like another thing you can do is you can design the colors and things on these buttons okay they don't have to look like that so now we're gonna add a page because uh, right now we have the home page this is the home page uh, and it's totally up to you if you want to forward person after they log out from the members area somewhere else or you want to send them back to the home page so we're gonna add an image here actually let's add a strip here welcome actually this one we want them to go here okay so after they log out uh, we want them to go here so okay so now we're gonna go on the code let's recap really quick the first thing you need to have is your members database then you're gonna create uh, what's called a dynamic page one is for members uh, update and then the profile this one keeps changing so let's rename this I don't know why I keep changing to members. Uh, we want it to be just update and profile. There you go. Okay, so again, so we want to make sure one is my profile and update. And we can keep adding more pages here. Again, when you add a Wix members app, it only allows you to have specific things. Doing it this way, you're going to be able to add other things that you can normally. So we're going to go here, we're going to open the, uh, what's it called, the little bar at the top, at the bottom, sorry. And now the first thing we want to do is we're going to click on the logout button. And as you see, as I click here, it showed this blue button. And the reason why it's going to the master page is because it's going to all the pages. But if I had it right here, on a regular page or on a single page this is uh, this code is only going to be added to that single page so i know it can be a little confusing but again if you want anything to show on all the pages you got to use the master um, code which is going to be uh, this one right here you want to use the master page uh, js uh, but if you're doing it on a single page then you don't have to worry about that uh, either way the code is going to be the same it's just where you're going to access the code okay so again if we would have do it right here on uh, on one single page if i add a code right here and then i go to a different page that code is not going to show there um, but because we're going to add it to one strip that shows on all the pages then it's going to go on the op on the master page so again, this is a decision that you can make. So now we're gonna open the master page and now it should look like this. We're gonna click where it says log out. And as you can see, the button, it says that the ID is button two and this it says button three. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna change the name of those buttons. And this is what we're gonna do, okay? Uh, and to make sure we add it correctly, we're gonna add actually the code already and then we're gonna be uh, connecting it. So this one is gonna be log out, uh, actually login, sorry. So this one is gonna be login uh, button. And then once we do that, make sure it's in the correct button. You wanna click where it says on click 
and as you can see make sure it doesn't have an under and then a number one if that happens you can delete the dash under because sometimes uh, it will add it if you have or if you already have a button with that uh, with the under click then um, you might have an extra letter here so you want to make sure it only says login button under click nothing else okay once you make sure everything is good there you're just gonna click add event and then we're gonna go to the next one which is gonna be my profile here this is gonna be change to profile button and this one we're gonna make sure it says enable and then hidden that means it's gonna be hidden and the code is gonna tell them when to be hidden when uh, the button is have, the person hasn't logged in this is not going to show only when they log in they're going to be able to see this button okay uh second thing you want to make sure is you want to click on click and you're going to add so now you have uh those things so when you are here you're going to see login button and then login button under click and then my profile make sure it's enable and hidden and then on click profile button under click now we have what we need. This thing right here that is show, is show now, you gotta delete. We don't need that and now we're gonna bring our code. So, let me bring the code right now. And it's right here. And I'm gonna try to explain as much as I can the code. Um, and then there it is let's make this a little bit bigger so that way you can see it clear and we're gonna go here because i hate um when people try to teach you things and they they're like so yeah this is where the code is and then they they, they go super fast so this is we're gonna go slow on this okay so the first section is this one right here that you have at the top which is the import Wix, uh, and this is something that Wix give you to do certain customizations to the Wix websites. Then from there, uh, this is where everything starts. This is gonna be the handle uh, for the login button. And again, as you can see here, that's why we wanna make sure that the, uh, what's it called? That the button matches, um, matches the code so as you can see here the the logout button it's named logout but the the id is actually login button okay so on the login button here you can see it's right here and then the my profile page pick sorry button uh is my profile button right here then it's right here as well now what it's saying is uh the login button label logout and the profile button shows okay so when you're logged in the button my profile is gonna show then the function says that when you log in when you click the login button the user to log in now this is something that I added recent and this is where it says promise all Wix location okay so what it's saying here is after the person logs out where do you want to redirect them so right now this one says page one right so this number of this id right here is the one that you want to pick for whenever somebody logs out so let me show you we're gonna go here and we're gonna go to sign menu we're gonna go to the home page okay so the home page what's the id of this home page so let's find out uh, let me see okay we're gonna click on the home page and now you see the id is at the top page number one if you click on this one the id is column strip two if you click here is the header one if you click on this column strip three so if we click uh, here on the background is page one you can also see it right here page one okay so let's say you were on a you want to send them uh, to a completely different page after they log out 
then you just need to find the ID of that page. So again, hopefully this is not confusing um, and I'm trying to see if I can be as clear as possible. But we're gonna go back to the to the code. Okay, so we were right here. So again, promise all. This is something that you add to be able to redirect somebody uh, to a specific page. Uh, and that's because if right now we wouldn't add this uh, part right here and we would have logged out and the page is going to give us an error. Let's say if I'm on my profile and then I log out, guess what's going to happen? It's not going to work. Uh, it's going to give me an error that I'm in a restricted page. So to not have that error, that's why you use the promise all and then the location, we want to send them here. And again, this can be changed. Uh, page one can be page two, or it can be a, a other place on your website. So once we added that, we're going to check everything. Here, members is all lowercase. And then in the data set, members is all lowercase. So pretty much everything here is done. So let me go a little bit up right here and again so that's it right there then update buttons accordingly uh, the login button label login and then the profile button it's hidden this is happening once you log out and then as you scroll down here user is log out and then here it tells you what's going to happen prompt the user to log in so again, it's just telling the thing what it needs to do, right? When the button login is on, the profile is going to be hidden. So when they click on profile on uh, login, it's going to make the My Profile uh, button appear. And then once we scroll all the way to the bottom, where it says Expert fu uh, Function, the Profile button, when they click on it, if you notice, we didn't connect it to the data set because the code is going to tell it that. Anytime you click on it, it's going to take you to the profile page. Okay. So now we're going to test it. So we're going to click publish. And this is the moment of truth. A lot of times, if there's an error or something, just refresh your page, uh, clear your cookies. Those things can happen. So once we're here, as you can see, the button is there. We're going to click on login. Now we're going to click on sign up because it's a brand new account right and then sign up with Google so on this place it, because I, I'm already logging into my account it already logged me in so now as you can see I have the logout button I'm gonna go to my profile and as you can see here the content looks a little weird because I just created my account with my Gmail account. So because there's no there's no uh, profile picture, there's no bio, and there's no um, uh, what do you call it phone number, it shows empty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna fix this. So we're gonna click update, and here we're gonna name my thing, and then that's an email I'm using, and then a phone number. And then I'm going to add a background image. I'm going to use this one. And then lastly, we're going to add a profile. So live is awesome. Smile more. And then uh, I need to add a profile picture. So since I don't have one, I'm just going to use this one right here. And then click Submit and it should update. Now, once I click submit, one thing that we're missing is that it needs to forward us back to my profile page. So that's the last thing we need to do. So as you can see, now it added this picture. Uh, it added my name, my email. And again, you can customize this so this doesn't look like that. So you can expand the little box, make it a little nicer, uh, and that way this won't happen. So now I can log out and there it is right so as you can see that was my profile with one email now we're gonna go uh, incognito and then here 
we're gonna log uh, log out or sign up with a different account so I'm gonna sign up we're gonna go to sign up here and now I'm gonna add a different email uh, as you can see it's right here but I have in a different window then we're gonna go to next I'm gonna add my password and then next and then you should sign me up so I was able to sign up now I'm gonna go to my profile and as you can see here um, is showing the other email that I use so I'm gonna click update we're gonna select a profile picture we're gonna select this one and then the name we're just gonna name it Tom CJ and then here we're just gonna type a random number if you don't want to put your real number and then a background image we're gonna select uh, this one right here and then bio smile even more and then submit okay so now uh, again this is the only thing we need to fix right now and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it but when we go to my profile now it shows this one and the reason why if you notice too it hasn't changed the background picture is because we need to connect that one that's the only one we didn't connect so let's close this we're gonna go back fix those things that we didn't do right now so let me move this here on the code everything is working because we didn't have any issues so what we need to go do is go back to the dynamic pages and then right here we're gonna go on profile and then we're gonna close this so on profile first this image right here we need to connect it okay so the background needs to be connected to the background picture and if you cut that in the beginning I'm so happy that you were able to do it um, but if you notice I messed up here and that's why we're having these issues uh, I wouldn't call it issues but um, we didn't connect that one now we're also gonna fix this and make it a little nicer so that way we make sure it's it's a little I wouldn't say perfect but it's gonna be much better okay so we're gonna go fix this and I want to make sure I add this right here the bottom instead gonna make it longer like that the email same thing the bio gonna drop it right here and then this one right here okay so we're fixing this so email is gonna be under this one and then we're gonna expand it um, oh I did something I press a button by accident so that's sorry about that okay so one more time this is too long already so we're gonna make a little smaller there and then this one is to be like that and then uh, phone number we're gonna move it up here and then this one we're gonna add at the bottom right here and right there okay now the last thing we need to make sure is uh, on the right place so the first one needs to be connected to full name so that's perfect the second one needs to be connected to the email that's correct the third one has to be connected to phone number and the last one is to be connected to the bio okay now we gotta go back here and we're gonna go to the update and the last thing we didn't do or the thing that we didn't do earlier with the button is that we want to tell them once you submit the information forward you back to my profile page so we're gonna click here when successful navigate to my profile now we can close this now we can publish and now we're gonna be able to do it correctly so view site I'm gonna log in 
login with my Google account. And as you can see, now it shows that my profile button, so I'm gonna click on it. And now because we connected the background, it has my profile picture in the background, okay? Now you see the layout here, it's a little better. Uh, again, you can customize it as nice as you want, but this is what I did. When I click update, I can click here, uh, my last name. Okay, and then I can click, um, no, let's update my profile, because I didn't like this profile. And I use geometric. And then we're gonna click submit, and it should take us back to my profile. Perfect, so he updated. So what we're doing here is a custom members area. So what this is gonna be useful for is for people to create their own listing. So if you combine this with a listing uh, you know, capability, then you can have, let's say, three different uh, realtors add their own listing and they can have their own kind of like page that's something that you can do. So this is very powerful. Uh, again, if you use it good and you keep practicing, uh, definitely you can do a lot of really awesome stuff with this. I got super excited when I find out it was possible. So hopefully this video helps you and thank you so much for the support and for watching uh, all this time. And uh, if you have questions, feel free to uh, you know comment. Uh, I'm gonna try to put a link in the description. So make sure you click in that link so you can download the whole, the whole code. Uh, if you don't wanna be copying from the image, it's up to you. Uh, but if you prefer to do that, it's also good. So those are your options. Uh, again, thank you and have a wonderful evening or night.